I truly don't think that you understand how normal the normies are. This is not to be mean or anything. It's to give you a different perspective because many times you compare yourself to the top people, right? So if, for example, you're in self-improvement, you might compare yourself to Hamza or maybe Dav David Goggins, right? On his discipline, etc. because you're always seeing this type of content. But it's very easy on your self-improvement journey to kind of forget that most people are so average, below average normies and just you being here watching self-improvement videos trying your, to better yourself you should praise yourself for that like literally be grateful for the fact that you've discovered this movement imagine you haven't discovered this imagine you're just a normal person just i'm even scared to think about that like let's say because i've learned about self-improvement through youtube that's how honestly i first found self-improvement like hamza really introduced me the concept i think i read a few books like how to win friends and influence people but really what pushed me was self-improvement youtubers and this type of content so take a second literally imagine what if i never discovered this movement what if i was just a normal human being right now eating junk food wake up in the morning late at 12 you know fapping every single day doing the bad habits not understanding that they're bad for you because that's another thing right you can be doing the bad habits and you're trying to get better which is good but you can be doing the bad habits and be like yeah it's fine video games are good fapping is good for you so i want you to take a few seconds and appreciate that you're here and that puts you above so many people you're literally in the one percent this doesn't mean this is not an excuse to stop working hard or you know stop meditating stop working out because yeah now you know i'm not so average anymore right because i'm on self-improvement but this is to give you a broader picture to understand like yeah no one is really doing this just by meditating once per week maybe twice you're probably in the point zero zero nine of the most present people in the world right now just by doing that and i'm not even kidding that has to be real because most people are on tiktok most people have instagram they're scrolling every single day their mental health is screwed it's fucked and you're here meditating most people just look outside look into your classroom look whatever your teachers do you think these people meditate they think it's funny they think it's weird they could keep thinking that but i just want to give you another perspective to understand like you're doing well bro you can be comparing yourself to so many people that is not what you should be doing on this journey you're probably comparing yourself to a lot of people like big people like hamza etc but you need to take a step back for a second understand that you're doing well you're maybe you're not super consistent with your habits but you're on the right path it's really important for us to just take a step back and understand how rare it is to be on self-improvement, how rare it is to be doing the habits, to work out, even just by working out once per week. You're above 99%. You're at the top 1% of gym enthusiasts, of gym, enthu of gym enthusiasts. I just want you to be proud of where you've gotten so far. It's very easy to always compare yourself and be like, yeah, you know what, but I could be here. Look at Alex Hermosi. Look at this guy. Look at that guy because, you know, we're on social media maybe or, or YouTube and you start comparing yourself to all these people. It's very easy to do that. But I just want you to take a step back and understand, you know what, I've gotten pretty far. I've maybe not been so consistent, but I'm ahead of a lot of people. I don't know about you, but that makes me feel good. Even on your worst days where you feel super unproductive, you hate yourself, you're mad at yourself, you're having such a bad day. Even those times, you're ahead of 99% of people because you've still done this. You've still maybe went on a walk. You've still tried to start your business. You've still you know, worked, you've worked out, you've done this. It's all about moving in the right direction. And part of it is also understanding, don't be so harsh on yourself. This is another kind of lesson I want you to understand. Be proud of where you've gotten so far. Understand that it's not really necessary to compare yourself to all these big people. You're so much more ahead of everyone else and you're moving in the right direction and that is so important so again i'm gonna end the video the way i started you don't understand how normal the normies are and that should motivate you to even push forward and be proud of yourself and not stop i hope this helped you bro i hope it gave you a new perspective on the topic it's very easy to be on self improvement and forget the progress that we've done and forget really the discipline that we have because in today's world it's so easy to not be motivated, to not be disciplined, to scroll on TikTok. But even through that, even through probably the hardest era to be productive in, you're still managing, you're still moving forward, and that is what matters. You should be proud of yourself, brother. And that is the lesson of the day. I'll see you next time. Peace.